Hi everyone, so in this video I will try to discuss a bit about our practice paper. So already uh, you know the solutions for these questions but there are some corrections and there are some and I think we can talk about it a bit. So for this first question we have to find out the domain of each function. See this, if you look at this question, this uh, 1a number, this is actually a parabola, down opening parabola and for any down opening parabola our uh, actually up opening parabola also our uh, domain is all real number so we will write all real number and this one is actually some square root function and uh, for this function you will see uh, this uh, for this uh, the value of x if you look at this value of x then uh, we can draw a graph uh, in the both direction of first of all this th this value of x if you put plus 3 and minus 3 then the function is valid Mm, first thing is that first thing is for plus 3 and minus 3 the function is valid and then if you uh, see then where the function is uh, valid more then you can put some more value let's say if you put uh, uh, 4 then what happens here for x square x means uh, 4 so 4 is coming 16 16 minus 9 means uh, some value so we get some value for 4 plus 4 and for minus 4 also we get some value so that means for plus 4 minus 4 both is uh, both is getting right and if you look at the value let's say just only 2 then it is 2 square 2 square means 4 4 minus 9 means uh, uh, minus 5 which is some negative number a square root of negative number is not possible so um, uh, we we have some sense that the graph is like somewhat in the x direction plus 3 minus 3 then a graph will be like in the uh, after plus 3 then in the infinity then after minus 3 in the negative infinity so that's why that's why our uh, domain of this uh, question number b here is from plus 3 to, to you know, plus 3 to plus infinity and minus 3 to minus infinity and notice that you will see i have given some symbol here uh, which is uh, some kind of uh, red star or red sun some kind of sun sun symbol it means in our in my previous version uh, I have given here a uh, first bracket so actually the value 3 is minus 3 is included so we have to give the we have to give the third bracket uh, in the interval notation and in the solution set notation also answer is given here which is fine and the last one is you you see if the value of x is minus uh, uh, plus 5 by 2 then uh, this function becomes undefined that's why uh, for the last one uh, the domain will be the domain of this question will be all real number other than other than uh, 5 by 2 this one you can put all the numbers other than 5 by 2 because if you put 5 by 2 here then it, this function becomes undefined denominator cannot be 0 just keep it in mind so this is the uh, number 1 then number 2 so number 2 function is we, the two functions are given f of x and g of x and we have to first question is we have to multiply them second question is we have to add them and find the value of uh, find the value when x is 4 and last one is uh, the difference quotient so three difference operation here first one is multiplication i just have taken x common although it is not doing anything actually here uh, say for example if it is uh, x minus 4 so uh, say this is if you take the common if it, if it is x minus 2 then downside is x minus 2 so th then you can cancel out them but here uh, in this case actually we cannot uh, do anything else so we just left the question here then this one is as i said in the for the value of x we have to put 4 then we have to do some calculation then we have done it actually we could have uh, done it in some other way also by doing some simplification then putting the value of 4 but this way also possible so yeah and it doesn't make any difference in the answer so uh, this is the thing this question f of x plus h then f of x divided by h we have to do it now you see this entire question is related to the uh, function f not the g function so and uh, this is x plus h that means instead of instead of this this x instead of this x now I, we have to put x plus h x plus h for the first part then we have again f of x so we have put it here then f of x is this divided by h is this now notice that this is a plus b whole square formula uh, we have to put here 
So x a, a square plus 2ab plus b square, then we have this minus, we have to multiply it, then there is again minus here, and brackets, so we have to multiply it, then there are some couple of terms which we can cancel out, say 4 plus 4x minus 4x cancel out, then x square, x square cancel out, then we have this term, this term, and this term. Then we can take a, h common from the numerator and denominator, then we can cancel them out. This is how we get the solution of this question. And this question is for the relation a to f below, which three are function? So you see, first of all, a number is not a function, right? Because if you if you draw a vertical line, then vertical line will cross at uh, two different points. Actually, in many places you can do it here, and vertical line test fails here in this circle. So this is not a function. This is uh, this is this relation is not a function. Uh, and this one is uh, fine b number is fine so uh, because if you draw vertical line test if you if you uh, take the test of the vertical line then you will see this is valid actually uh, and this one you see actually vertical line test and the other uh, way to understand for uh, one input there is only one output both is fine even you can think about this if x is Say, say for example when this is this is uh, 2 so 1 2 3 4 so when x is 1 then you see we have two value two output x is 1 but y is y we have two value that's why so in the both way we can actually think about it anyway so this one is a function because for each x value we have only y value and look at this one so this one is uh, all the value have different uh, output so this is also a function d number for 2 1 0 minus 1 5 so all the input are different so no problem this is a function then this one 0 2 so you see here this number uh, for 2 this this one for this number and for this number this is not a function this 2 is this 2 is I can make it red color and this two is the problem here they have different uh, the same input but different out that's why this is the problem and this is the uh, another one this problem is with the zero because because zero has two different output that's why this is not a function so i have written the explanations also so explanations is also i said now let's look at this uh, section two uh, uh, this is the graph and on the coordinate plane below draw a graph that meets the following requirements so it's a function so we have to draw a function then the domain has to be its domain is all real number and its range is y is greater or equal to minus one and y is greater minus one is here see y value minus one is here <coughs> and it has x intercept at minus three and minus one this is minus three this is plus one minus three and plus one this is plus one and this is uh, this is minus one now you can say sir uh, how do i know that you have to draw a parabola here there is no way it is mentioned that it is a parabola also how do you know that this will be the vertex now look this is the vertex actually we know that uh, if we think that we will draw a par parabola because vertex of the parabola will be in the middle of the of the two two intersection if we know the x intercept is this and this now you see, you can say sir i don't want to draw a parabola because in the question no parabola is mentioned actually you can do it you can uh, draw other graph also suppose if you draw a straight line from here a straight line from here another straight line then give two arrow sign this is also correct answer this uh, one arrow sign here and another arrow sign here but your, uh, your your point has to come here 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 and here then it will go forever in the up direction because the the range is more than uh, one all real number and domain is all real number range is uh, minus one to plus infinity and 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 you can it, if you want you can draw more curve another curve also here okay you can draw more curves here now let's say if i say if i uh, want to uh, want another uh, another graph say this is plus one let's say if i say okay draw another graph which will touch this point and this point also then what you will do you can go this way then come down to this way then go up with this touching this point you can do this actually if i say okay touch more points then make it a curve make it a curve 
and try to touch all of the points and try to fulfill more conditions let's say yeah if i say uh, the range has to be uh, minus 5 to plus infinity then your graph has to come down to minus 5 somewhere you can come here also you can come here also you can come here also somewhere in minus 5 you have to touch then you go there okay because it is equal to that so you can touch so this way uh, actually you can draw a graph and then uh, uh, one important thing is you cannot you cannot draw something which is not a function suppose you, you cannot draw a circle you can uh, actually circle will not fulfill this condition and also you cannot draw some other things if you want uh, which is not function say say like if you want to draw this graph like this or if you want to come closer then it's not a function because vertical line test it has to fulfill so uh, try to draw something simple and then uh, which fulfills all the condition that's the technique that's the main main part of it then it is explained here a little bit this one is identify the intercepts and symmetry of this function so you see all symmetry we have here intercept one intercept here x intercept another x intercept here another y intercept y intercept this question one x intercept here x intercept here x intercept here y intercept is here and this one do not have any symmetry uh, so this is written here i suppose and notice that this is although it looks like okay one two three maybe at three this is the intercept but you see this is zero to two so we have two different there the, the scaling is not one 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 okay so you have to look at the scaling this is two here that means one is here in the middle this is not one this is 0.5 now so be careful about that then another graph is given we have to find out the domain local maxima local minima then sets of the, where it is increasing decreasing now you see this is a uh, open open graph and uh, so we will get the local minimum and local maximum if the graph is not open then you will get the absolute minimum and absolute maximum anyway this graph is uh, open in the both side so uh, we have some open interval here that's why local minimum and local maximum will come from this graph and uh, you see this is the highest point of the graph this this value so this is uh, one two three three plus three so range will be from plus three to the minus infinity downside and domain is as you can see this side and this side both side is going forever so domain will be all real number then uh, local maximum so see one local maximum here another local maximum here this value is at minus three and value is plus three this value is at uh, plus 4 and value is uh, 1 to value is 2 and minimum local maximum is at 0 and value is also 0 so all of this thing is written here and increasing decreasing so the value is increasing from minus infinity to this point then decreasing from this point to this point then from here to here it is increasing again then from here to here it is decreasing again so this is how I will say from minus infinity to this is uh, minus 3 from minus infinity to minus 3 it is increasing then minus 3 to 0 it is decreasing and 0 to plus 4 it is increasing and 4 to minus infinity 4 to plus infinity it is again decreasing so this is how we can say it this is written here again i think i will uh, section 3 i will start in another video all right thank you very much